Hello everybody. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. So this um, pamphlet, report, whatever you want to call it, Weather Modification Operations in California, October the 1st, 1965 to September the 30th, 1966. It's more or less a year's worth. It's published in August 1967. You'll recognise this person. And uh, he's the author of this report. Ronald Reagan is the author of the report. Along with William R. Gianelli, Director, Department of Water Resources, and Ronald Reagan at the time, Governor, State of California. It's in the abstract. Eight California licensees conducted 11 cloud seeding projects during the 1965-66 water year. The projects were conducted mainly to increase surface storage for municipal and irrigation uses, for use in recreational facilities and for use in hydroelectric installations, I mean hydroelectric power stations. Additional purposes were groundwater storage and applied research. Seven project target areas were in Central California, three in Southern California and one in Northern Sierra Nevada. Cloud seeding hours logged, not including electric discharge method. So we'll be coming on to that electric discharge method soon wonder how many of you are thinking of something beginning with H. <laughs> so anyway, cloud seed in hours logged were 13,283 hours over 11 months from ground-based seeding apparatus. Okay? And there was 246 hours logged over 11 months from aircraft. Eight licensees use silver iodide, standard, dispersed from ground-based generators or aircraft as a nucleation agent. In addition to silver iodide, one licensee dispersed 213 pounds of dry ice. One licensee used the electric discharge method in which ions discharged from stainless steel wires act as a nucleation agent. This unit was operating during 323 days of the 1965-66 season. So what they mean is, is that electric discharge method was operating for 323 days. So 365 years, uh, 365 days in a year. <laughs> take off your 30 days when it wasn't operated and you're kind of left with 323 days aren't you so the whole period um, I think it's worth considering from 1965-66 up to now that's over 50 years um, some of the people involved still have weather modification activities today so if they were doing it in the over 54 years ago, 55 years ago, and they're doing it today, and this is about California. So maybe when you consider what's happening in California over the last 10 years, you know, are you just are you really seeing a natural occurrence of droughts or you know high high velocity fires that make no sense? Why is is there a possibility that it's somehow connected to 40, 50 years worth of med weather modification that's been going on? Or it's all just nothing. You know, you can put those 
and just keep pumping that out pumping silver iodide out it's not a problem you know if you keep pumping it out pumping it out every year every year and this isn't supposed to affect anything completely normal completely fine so what we're going to be dealing with is weather modification from 55 years ago what that means is if you live in California and you are under 50 years of age 55 years of age you do not know what natural weather is okay so all Californians under 55 years of age you do not know what natural weather is you've never experienced it in your life even if you grew up believing you were and it's changed now you weren't <laughs> your, your weather's been modified your whole life you know if you're born and bred and you're still there in California you need to think about that you've never seen natural weather anyway that was a bit of a rant over wasn't it we'll go through some of the licensees and we'll come back to that electric discharge method um, in a bit so we just go through some of the stats, figures, blah, 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 and what they were up to. In the acknowledgements, the water rights engineering sections wishes to thank the weather modification licensees of California for their cooperation in supplying information on their cloud seeding projects, particularly North American weather consultants. Now they are still operating today. They are completely active. I've spoken to them about 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Um, Vista Irrigation District and Atmospherics Incorporated for supplying illustrations. <laughs> Lovely. So that's where we, what I just mentioned about, you know, if the North American weather consultants were involved in this in 1965, 1966, and they're still active today doing the same thing, what does that say to you has been happening then over the last 55 years? with the North American weather consultants. You know, they haven't taken 50 years off and started again two years ago and it's in the media. Right? It's been ongoing. So this needs to be considered when people talk about climate change or um, the weather isn't what it usually is or the storms are more powerful or we're getting more rain or it's much drier. We get the longer droughts or heavier monsoons. You know, it's like, what do you expect? Of course you are. <laughs> it's not you boiling your kettle too much and making coffee, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, some of the uh, place names where this took place. Santa Clara Valley, Water Conservation District, San Benito County, Kings River, Conservation District, Tulare County, Kern County, Los Angeles County Flood Control District, San, Benin San Bernardino Valley Municipal Water District, Vista Irrigation District. So these are the names of the uh, companies that became licensees, North American Weather Consultants, Water Resources Development Corporation, they're in Palm Springs, California, or were in 1965 anyway, let's just uh, remember that one, Weather Modification Company, San Jose, California, Precipitation Control Company of California, Taft, California, North American Weather Consultants of California, Goleta, Goleta, California. Los Angeles County Flood Control District, LA, California. Atmospherics Incorporated, Fresno, San Bernardino Valley Municipal Water District, San Bernardino, California. Pacific Gas and Electric Company, San Fran, California. International Weather Control Incorporated, Reno, Nevada. KRC Service Corporation, San Diego, California, Santa, Cla Santa Clara Valley Water Conservation District, San Jose, California, 
Vista Irrigation District, Vista, California. That's a picture of a ground-based generator. Now, so what we see on um, page 19 of this report is where they're talking about uh, the city of San Fernando and the city of Claremont were possibly affected by the projects. Project equipment included 16 ground-based generators burning a 2% solution of silver iodide. That kind of gives you an idea of what's being used. So it might not sound like much. It all sounds very thing, but you know, the gr uh, in the paragraph here, the ground generators were operated for 1,292 hours over a period of seven months. So, a 2% solution over 1,292 hours, you're going to be using a lot of stuff. <laughs> Whatever the mixture is. So, on page 20, the best estimate of the 1965-66 seeding operations indicates that the greatest effects from seeding, a precipitation increase of over 25%, occurred over the interior valley and the front slope of the back range of the San Gabriel Mountains. This whole report talks about this area being affected, that area being affected, 15% here affect, 25% there. During the 1965-66 season, Atmospherics Incorporated continued research efforts in the Southern Sierra under a cost-sharing contract with the National Science Foundation. Survey in the U.S. Geological Survey indicates an increase of slightly over 159,000 acre feet, about 15% over the expected total due to cloud seeding. Aircraft operated for 63.6 hours during 34 flights, a total of 2,280 grams of silver iodide was dispersed. 19 storms moved through or affected the target area during the period of project operations. Below normal precipitation occurred January through April. So the electrical discharge method used by Vista Irrigation District. It's almost a mixture between an electrical transmitter and uh, some sort of death ray gun or something. Um, I'll read to you exactly what's next to the picture showing this. An evaluation of the project through com computer analysis is being carried out by the New York Central Technical Research Department. In addition to legally required minimum data, Vista Irrigation District submitted to the department a, a preliminary progress report entitled Artificial Modification of Atmospheric Space Charge, Warner Ranch, California together with photographs of project equipment. A photograph of emission power lines and insulators is shown in figure 12, which you can hopefully see a little bit of. Figure 12, emission power line and special insulators used with electrical discharge method of cloud seeding. So, um, for those of you that are kind of thinking this is borderline a very early version of harp or such like that's what it actually looks like to me as well when i read this and saw this i was expecting only to be reading about silver iodide cloud seeding and that's what i thought this was going to be about uh, 1965-66 you know, when they're talking about using stainless steel antennas wires antennas and putting out an electrical charge 
and putting out an electrical charge to modify ions behavior then that's what heart does except this is very small and very 1965 and not 1990s 180 antenna things or one gigawatt 21st century one gigawatt heart bucona <laughs>